Hey everybody and welcome back. Um, I actually recorded this once already, but it was in my husband's car and the background noise was so bad that I had to redo it again. So take two. Anyways, uh, today I'm gonna talk to you about keto products, the ones that I love and ones that I hate and why. With every star, we are So one of the things that I think holds people back more than anything is not knowing where hidden carbs are, where hidden sugars are, where hidden chemicals are that are really starting to affect your weight loss. So let's take something super benign like ketchup. You would think ketchup is just a condiment, it's not a big deal, right? Well, this is what is in normal ketchup two different kinds of corn syrup. Definitely not what we're going for here. And depending on how much ketchup you eat, it can really affect how your weight loss is going. You have the option to get a keto ketchup. There are some really good ones on the market. I go with a not so super great one. I go with this guy right here. The reason I say it's not so super great is because it has an artificial sweetener in it. Well, why do I get this one over, say, an actual keto, legit, really good quality ketchup? I've got six children living in my house and over half of them really like ketchup. I can't afford to spend seven or eight dollars a bottle for ketchup. So we go with the slightly cheaper two dollars a bottle for the ketchup. It's the best that I can do right now. It is the way it is. but. I'm trying to do better, and I think that the artificial sweetener in a tiny small amount is still better than the two different forms of corn syrup, and my kids' reactions seem to agree with that. Next up on the list, I'm gonna talk about mayonnaise. Now, there isn't usually a whole lot of sugar in mayonnaise, but there is seed oils. Generally, they're hidden. Well, if you go to the store and you get an avocado mayonnaise or an olive oil mayonnaise, then you would think that those would be good. Well, according to these pictures, not so much. Yes, they have avocado oil and olive oil, but then after that, they add seed oils. What's the problem with seed oils? Seed oils are actually gathered and created through horrible processes with chemical extractions and super high heat and even bleach. Yes, bleach. So that stays in the oil, and then it goes into whatever product it is, and then it goes into your body. I really don't want to put bleach on my sandwich. I'm good, so no thanks. Instead, we go with one of these two, Sir Kensington's or Primal Kitchens. We have both, uh, whichever one I can seem to find at the store. I do spend more for the mayonnaise. I think it's worth it. Sir Kensington's actually isn't all that expensive, so that makes it even better. Next up on the list is gonna be your spices. Well, it's not really the spices that are the problem, it's the quality of your spices. You see, some places will actually cut their spices with wheat because it goes further and it looks a lot like, say, garlic powder. What's funny is that I used to be able to find bottles that said, garlic powder and wheat listed on them. Um, yeah, this is what I find now. You actually have to write to the company to find out what is in the bottle in the store. Hmm, what could they possibly be trying to hide? Not a clue. So whenever you go get your spices, you wanna make sure that you get higher quality ones. When you turn it around, it actually just says garlic. End of story. Next, we're gonna talk about something that's more of a whole food. Um, cheese. You would think cheese is cheese, right? Cheese is not cheese. So if you look at the back of this package, which is pre-grated cheese, you see that there's a bunch of other stuff in it too. And it's got modified cornstarch in it. Did you know that modified cornstarch is another word for MSG? 
They say that it's an anti-kicking agent. Well, guess what? It also lights up the pleasure centers of your brain and gets you addicted to it, which is why you want to put so much of that pre-grated cheese onto your stuff. What do we do? We do the block cheese. I really don't care where you get it from as long as the ingredients are nice and clean you can pronounce all of them. Then we have pre-sliced cheese. One of them, I'm not going to say its name, starts with this. So this one has got modified food starch, which is another way of saying MSG, and canola oil in it. We're just going to stop right there and call it quits with that one. The next one that we're going to go to does look a little bit cleaner, but it still has modified food starch in it plus a bunch of other stuff that really doesn't belong in cheese. So when it comes to cheese, you really just would be better off sticking to a big giant block of it and grating it yourself. Yes, I know it takes a little bit more time, but in all my videos, now you know exactly why I do it that way. Plus it gives you an arm workout and workouts are good, right? The next item on our list is going to be meat. Yes, meat. I know you wouldn't think that it would be something that you really had to worry too much about. But did you know that most deli meats actually have MSG in them as well? They call it a bunch of different things, but it's usually lurking in there. But now let's look at this one. You would think that going and getting crab from a restaurant would mean that you were actually getting crab. Well, I hate to break it to you, break it. But the only way that you're actually getting crab is if you break the legs open yourself and pull the meat out because this is imitation crab, unfortunately. It has wheat starch and soybean oil in it. The last time I checked, crabs were not made out of wheat. So I'm gonna say that that's a hard pass on that one. The important part is for you to really look at all of the meat that you are consuming. Pepperoni, there are some that are a lot better than others. Same thing with salami. Look at the back, see how many carbs are in it. Make sure it doesn't have any of those chemicals. What you decide to put into your body will affect how fast your healing and weight loss happens. Now, sometimes there's concessions that we have to make, but that is completely up to you. Finally, two products that really, really, really tick me off. I was actually in the store the other day walking through and I saw a big, giant, beautiful loaf of bread that said keto plastered across it. And I thought, oh no, no. Let's see exactly how keto this is. The very first ingredient is water. Pretty keto. The second ingredient, resistant wheat starch. Exactly what is resistant wheat starch? And then we have wheat protein isolate. Yeast, allulose, hey, that's keto. Contains 2% or less of the following. Soybean oil, that's not keto. Oh, wait, if you go a little bit further down after you go through the stuff that you can't read, then you get to cotton seed oil because one type of seed oil or unhealthy oil wasn't enough. And then if you look way at the bottom in tiny print, what does it say? Contains a bioengineered food ingredient. How does that scream healthy? What part of bioengineered is keto? I'm sorry, the whole point of keto is to be eating whole foods and unprocessed foods. The thing is, what these companies are trying to do by putting keto across the package is convince you that they're saving you time and essentially money. Because if you don't have to make it yourself or buy a different product that might be more expensive, then they're doing you a service. The problem is they can't compete with results they're losing out on the market. So you have a choice. You can buy this bread, which I'm assuming probably kind of tastes like cardboard, or you could spend two hours in the kitchen cooking the Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread 2.0. The choice is completely up to you. But I'm gonna tell you, I really think the Wonder Bread is gonna be better for you than this stuff. They think that if they throw a keto label on it, then you're all good to go. Well, the same thing with these tortillas. Low carb keto tortillas. No, just because you add a whole bunch of fiber to it does not mean that it makes it keto. Wheat has never been keto and it never will be, even if it's just the fiber. And don't worry, you're not the only one that gets taken with this. Just the other day, I too committed the cardinal sin of not flipping the package around and reading it. 
I love Lily's chocolate chips and Lily's chocolate bars. Always have, always will. Well, the other day I was buying my kids some chocolate chips for them to be able to take with them if they had to go somewhere. And I found an entire plethora of chocolate bars. Decided that I was gonna grab one for myself, which I almost never do. So I'm eating my little chocolate bar because it's Lily, so it must be safe, right? Someone asks me about why I'm eating it that way and I flip the package around to show them exactly how healthy the ingredients are. Lo and behold, guess what I found lurking in my very own chocolate bar? Dextrin. Hmm. Yeah, it happens to me too. It's not just you. The point of this video is to help you learn that you need to become a food detective. Do not get complacent and always check the label. I don't know how many times I've bought an item for years and it was perfectly fine for us and then all of a sudden I would have an adverse reaction to it. Stomach cramping, headache, something like that. I turn the package around and what do I find? Yeah, they changed the formula and they added something new and fun. So don't get taken like I did. Always be a food detective and pay attention. If you have the option, make a better choice the next time. Anyways, I just wanted to go over some of those products that I love and the ones that I don't love and why. The choice is completely up to you. I just wanted to give you a little bit of information so that you can make an informed choice. Thanks so much for checking in with us today, guys, and we will see you on the way. Bye. Oh, hang on. I'm, I can't, I can't see. Apparently I'm getting old. Give me a second. The last time I checked, crabs did not made, did, do, did I get that one in there? my cheese. My cheese is not in here. That is so sad. I'm going to have to find it. Give me this. It doesn't look like you're recording. You're looking at No, me. I am. It's it's going right now. Oh, oh it's those bloopers. Yeah, right. It's about to be. Now I'm trying to zoom in so I can see this. Okay. And then if you scroll way down, scroll way down. Uh, yeah, that's just a disgrace to all cheese everywhere.